Today's video, I'm going to show you how to grow orchids from stem cuttings. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to clone an orchid plant and you're going to be using the node of the orchid plant. So you're going to be looking at the stems for the nodes. So you're going to have to have a mature orchid plant to do this. Um, a lot of times orchids are expensive and you've got an orchid that you really like and you want to make a clone of it. Um, this can also be done. Um, there's something in horticulture called a kiki. Um, it is basically the baby plant. Um, it's an exact clone of the mother plant. Um, sometimes while it's flowering, it's still attached to the mother. Um, the word is kiki, and it's Hawaiian actually. It's for baby or child. Um, it literally means the little one. So that would be an exact replica of the mother plant. And the kiki usually grows, well, it grows from one node uh, on the flower stem you'll start to see this growth starting to, to, to protrude out of the stem and it starts to get little roots. That's actually a clone of the mother plant. You can cut that and plant that and you've got a second plant just like the mother plant. Once it flowers, it's gonna look just like the mother plant. So what we're gonna do today is we're going to show you a way to actually uh, influence that node that's on that stem to actually grow. And if you watch this, you can out, you, there's, a, there's a paste out there that you can go on, out and get. It's called Kiki Paste. Um, it's just like a little gel or actually wax that you would put on a node to try to encourage it to grow. Uh, but I'm going to show you an organic, natural way to do this with actual moss. Uh, moss is used uh, with orchids. It's a food source. Um, it, it does a lot of things for the orchid so by putting it with the orchid stem it actually uh, encourage encourages this growth so as long as the um, the space that you're growing this in is tight and sealed and it's got some moisture in there we're going to um, be able to encourage a node to grow so okay what are we going to need for growing orchids from stem cuttings it's very simple we're going to use the organic method here and we're only going to need water, a place to put the orchids into, a medium to wrap our orchids with, and obviously a mature orchid with a stem that has a couple nodes on it. Now, what I do is I take a couple uh, stems and I put them together. So if you guys are doing multiple ones, you may want to label those. I mean, if you're just doing it at home for fun or you just want to clone one, one plant, that's fine. Uh, but I like to label mine so that I know which one it is as they grow. And I kind of keep track and records that way. But uh, sphagnum moss, you don't want to pull this from your backyard anywhere. You want to go ahead and order this online. That way it's sterile. Um, I'm going to leave a link down below in the video in case you guys don't know where to get that. Um, you can have it shipped right to your door. But basically what we're going to use is we're going to use water. We're going to use a large vase, a vase that's big enough to hold like an 8 to 10 inch cutting. Uh, if you guys don't have anything like that, you can put these in like 2 liter pop bottles. Um, those work great. Um, anything that's big enough to fit an 8 to 10 inch uh, stem cutting in there. Um, like I said, I use, usually do about 5 to 10 of these together. Um, and what you're going to want to use is you're going to use water. We're just going to use water. We're not using any chemicals, nothing like that. So we're going to take our moss that we have. We're going to, and I like to use a spray bottle. I spray it, get it damp. Um, you can just dip it in water as well. But again, you want to use like spring water. You don't want to use anything that would have chemicals in it. You're just trying to keep everything as sterile as possible. It's not critical, critical, but you want to try to, try to keep everything clean. Um, so you're going to grab your stem cuttings. You're going to get those ready, and you're just basically just going to wrap those stem cuttings with the sphagnum moss. Okay, you want to make sure it's damp. You want to be able to squeeze it a little bit, and there's some water that may drip out of it. So that's how wet you want to get the moss. Um, once you've got your vase or your pot bottle, um, pot bottle, you want to obviously cut off the top of the pot bottle. You want to keep an open end there, and then you're just going to wrap, wrap them tight. You're going to place that into your vase. Or vase, people a lot of people call it a vase, or right? I call it a vase. And um, before you actually do that, you want to fill about uh, 
you want to put a little bit of water in the bottom of that um, just so it has just a little bit of water also in the bottom the water just keeps it moist down there and one thing i failed to, to mention the orchid cuttings um, you want to wrap the moss with like rubber bands that just holds everything together so if you've got some large rubber bands it doesn't have to be super tight um, you can leave it a little bit loose but you want a good wrap around those orchid stem cuttings and just make sure that it's gonna it's gonna it's not gonna move that way and it's secure if you're not sure where your node is on that stem cutting Let's take a look at an orchid and let's zoom in on this orchid and let's look at the nodes here. So one node would be right here and there's a second node right here. Okay, now that you have identified the nodes on your cuttings and you've got your cuttings prepared, you're going to want to cover your vase or your plastic bottle with perforated plastic. If you don't have that, you can just use saran wrap or some sort of plastic, light plastic, and just put a few holes in the top. You will then want to place your vase or your bottle into a warm area, 25 degrees Celsius, which is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. You can use a heat mat underneath, but you want to place it into a warm area and you want to have some light there you can place it under a grow light if you want or just a sunny location maybe in your kitchen that's fine as long as the temperature stays within that range it's going to create a greenhouse effect inside for the plant and you're going to start to see results in about three weeks check it in about three weeks you should have some growth on those nodes and then it may take about two months to get the roots to be about two three inches long and at that point you may want to just cut it off gently and then it should be ready to establish itself